glory globe to be years of breaking news yes in the town surrounding kruger national park in northeast south africa many black residents have gone their entire lives without seeing some of the country's most famous wildlife despite living a strong throw from one of south africa's largest natural reserves home to elephants lions and more seeing these animals face to face seems to be a luxury reserve for others award winning black run program wild shorts outreach has spent the last 8 years attempting to change that connecting with local schools the organization is introducing young black south africans to photography and conservation through workshops and game drives taking students through kruger national park and surrounding areas to see encounter wildlife and it has proved so successful that one of its alumni now runs the program founder mike kendrick worked as an assistant head teacher at a school in bristol england before starting wso the idea for the program came to him during a trip to south africa in 2015 when his wife geologist harriet nimio organized a symposium to celebrate wildlife photography in africa we had a world standard ketone and keynote speakers but we could not find black photographers from south africa to speak and we thought well something not to quite right here later that year kenrick and his wife moved to hodisport just outside the kruger we realized that none of the young black people from the local community had ever been into kruger park or any of the other reserves he says it was really really shocking it was this observation that pushed kenrick to set up wso and begin reaching out to local schools and youth centers to engage with the next generation of black photographers and conservation analyst yes another wso success story in melody menesi who now works as a nature guide in the greater kruger park area her aptitude for working with animals was first picked up at school but she was unaware that careers in the field were possible having been introduced to wildlife through wso m nisi is now passing on skills to fellow young south africans as a guide for kuru camp a non profit educational organization we take local people on game drives in nearby parks to teach them about wildlife back at the camp we offer environmental education and how they can keep the environment clean she says peer the report glory globe